Welcome to Designs by Diane. Today I'm going to teach you all of my secrets. Come along and let's get busy quilting. Many of you have expressed an interest in some of the tools that you see in my shows or how to do certain things easier. When I started long arming, nobody knew what a long arm was. It hasn't been that far back, but there was nobody in this area that did it. I had nobody to go to for um, guidance or instructions at all. I bought a used one, and it didn't even come you know, with a, a manual that went with it. I just had to mash buttons till I figured out what it did. Now we have training everywhere. When you buy your machine, you can get training. You can go and pay for lessons. I give lessons to long armors. If you want the training, that's one thing. But I'm going to tell you about all of the tools and gadgets that I found along the way that make my life easier in my quilting. One of the first things I found out with quilting was there's a lot of cleanup involved. Now, if you have your quilting in a room with a linoleum floor, that's great. You can just sweep it up and go. But most of the floors I've worked on are carpeted, so I had a little bit harder trouble getting my threads and my batting cleaned up. When I started out, I used my upright beater bar vacuum cleaner, and I spent more time on the floor cutting the threads out from around the beater bar than I did actually vacuuming with it. Eventually, I took the liberty of borrowing my husband's shop vac and found out that that was great. I don't have to pick up all the little parts before I vacuum. It will take pretty good sized chunks of batting and um, fabric and thread, sucks it right up, you just empty it and you're ready to go again. That's for your larger cleanups. If you just have a small cleanup, you've got company coming or something and a few threads on the floor, get you a toilet brush, a clean one, go get you a new one, and you can run along the floor and just kind of tap where those threads are and it will get them all tangled up in here and it will pick them up for you and you won't have as much trouble keeping your workspace clean. The next thing I want to show you is sometimes you need a ladder. You need to climb and do things. Make sure you get something that is sturdy and made for that purpose. Don't be climbing up on chairs or, or furniture. Get something that's made for the purpose. This one didn't cost a lot. I don't remember how much, but I got it. It's two steps high, and it folds flat so I can slip it behind something when I'm not using it. And just like now, if you need a quick place to sit down, you can do that. The other thing that I use for cleanup are magnetic bowls. If you have pins and they spill or you've been pin basting something and you have extras, you can just run along with this bowl upside down above it and it will get all of the pins up for you. Straight pins, safety pins, whatever they are. And that helps with those cleanups. Let's talk about a few accessories that you can get to help make your life more organized and enjoyable. This is one of those little racks you get at the office supply store to put your manila folders in to organize things. They work great for keeping all of your rulers in here lined up. I can get my 6x24, my 15 inch. I just keep them on top of a table in here and it keeps them all organized and I can find what I need. It helps keep them from falling off of everything when you're trying to pile other things up. The next thing, especially long armors, but even you people with just domestic sewing machines, you need your own set of tools. Don't expect to use your husband's. They're greasy for one thing, but you want to have your own set. Now, if you have wrenches to deal with your machine, there are standard and there are metric wrenches. I have to have a set of each. I got these one Christmas. I said, I, I want my own set of wrenches, so I have a standard set and a metric set. You may need to whack something sometimes, so get you a hammer. I found these at the tool place. Men have such fun gadgets. It's a little pair of channel locks and a little pair of pliers, and they're just the cutest things, and they're easy to keep up with, and they do the trick. Sometimes you are in those very, very tight spots, and you need a, a little bitty short Phillips head or flat head screwdriver. You can pick these up at the tool shop. A, an adjustable wrench is good. Sometimes you have a, a, a wrench on one side, you need a wrench on the other, and you don't have two of the same size, so that can be adjusted. And this is your Allen wrenches. These are those L-shaped black things that a lot of our equipment uses now. 
You need a set of these. Go ahead and get the whole set because if you don't, you'll, you'll miss the one that you really need. So get these tools so that you'll have them when you need them and not have to uh, stop your work and go to town and buy one thing or get your husband's.